I'm Travis Elliott with National Control Devices, and today we've got a really cool application video for you. We're going to be looking at our air quality sensor, our end-node 4-channel relay controller, and our IoT Edge computer. These devices together are going to create a very robust logging and control automation solution. Our safety consultants recently came to us and requested that we begin monitoring the air quality in our production facility. We have a solder room there where we produce some pretty nasty fumes from soldering circuit boards. We've always requested that our staff wear respirators in this area. So since we're going to be monitoring the air quality in there and logging it to a CSV file, we thought it would also be a really nice touch to actually put a lit sign on the outside of the room, let staff know before they enter that they need to wear a respirator. So today, we're going to use this hardware to make that happen. So let's go ahead and take a look at the hardware. The first thing I've got here is our new wireless air quality sensor. This air quality sensor is battery powered, operates on a 900 megahertz wireless protocol, which is really good for indoor and outdoor applications. You get a thousand feet indoors or two miles outdoors. Uh, it's battery powered, so you don't need to run power to it or anything like that. You just put this wherever you want it and it's going to work. You notice on the side, it has vent holes here on the side. That's for the, uh, the air quality sensor inside of it. It actually has a fan that pulls air into it, uh, does analysis on it, and then ejects it out the exhaust ports. This will monitor uh, particulate matter concentrations in various different sizes, uh, 2.5 being uh, the big one everyone wants to monitor. It also monitors humidity, temperature, and CO2. So this is great for getting a snapshot for how good your air quality is. Next, we got the in-node four-channel relay controller. This device also operates on the 900 megahertz wireless protocol, so you're getting that same good long-range wireless interface. And it's got four relays. We'll be able to send commands to this to turn the relays on and off. Lastly, we've got the IoT Edge computer. This is going to act as the brains and the storage for our logging application. It's got, uh, it's basically a small Linux computer that comes with Node-RED pre-installed as well as our Node-RED library that will allow you to parse data from the sensor and send commands to the relay controller. So very simple setup to use. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the interface next for the IoT Edge computer. So here I've already got the web interface open to the IoT Edge computer. Uh, this is going to allow you to set network parameters, uh, view, this, view the status of the, device, of the IoT Edge computer, various different uh, configurations. So as I said, it comes with Node-RED pre-installed. So if you click here, it's going to take you to the Node-RED web interface page. And here we can take a look at the flow that I've got implemented for this application. At the heart and soul of this is the wireless gateway node. The wireless gateway node is where data from the sensor is going to come out and commands to control the relays are going to go in. So this is your ingress for all of the wireless communication with the devices in the area. The top part of this flow essentially is checking the address that the, part, that the uh, telemetry came from to make sure this is from our air quality sensor because you may have you know, several uh, wireless devices in the area. And it's going to do some manipulation to the data that comes from the sensor, put it into CSV format, and then it's going to log that to a CSV file right on the IoT Edge computer. It's also going to monitor the 2.5 particulate matter. Through this switch node, if, it's, if the 2.5 concentration is greater than 40, it's going to come out the top connection. If it's less than 40, it's going to come out the bottom connection. So if it comes out the top connection, it's going to hit this flow here, which is essentially going to build a command to turn on relay 1, and it's going to eject, inject that into the wireless gateway input, which is going to send a wireless command to our relay controller. If the readings are less than 40, meaning that we don't really need a respirator, it's going to come out the bottom. And that's going to build a command to turn off the relay, and then that's going to be injected into the wireless gateway. 
Now, I told you up here we were logging this data to a CSV file right here. This part of the flow at the bottom is monitoring that CSV file. So anytime an update is made to that file, this flow triggers. What happens is we load the file, we parse the CSV in that file, convert that CSV into JSON format, and then using that data, we will put it into UI elements using Node-RED dashboard on the IoT Edge computer. This is going to allow us to actually view the data on the IoT Edge computer. So we can take a look at what that would, uh, would look like here. This is the dashboard, and this is a graph of the mass concentration. We've got 2.5, 4.0, and 10.0. So we can see various different rises and drops in the air quality. This was all simulated in my office with a soldering iron. So I just heated up some solder, and it would cause some, some pretty high spikes in the particulate matter concentration. Also here we have the number concentration for 0.5, 1.0, 2.5, 4.0, and 10.0. We can also view the temperature in Celsius here. We can view the humidity. And we can view the CO2. Lastly, we've got a gauge for our battery level, which is going to tell us uh, the battery level in the wireless air quality sensor. So that's about all there is to the, uh, to the interface here. Um, it's really pretty simple. I'm going to have this flow available, so if you're interested, you can download it and flash it right onto your own IoT Edge computer, and you'll be up and running in no time. The only thing that you would need to change is going to be the address of your sensor. Every sensor has a unique address, which is printed on a sticker right on the outside of the sensor. So you would just want to enter that here. You would also want to change the address of the relay controller, which will also be on a sticker on the outside of it. So you'd want to put that in there. And that's really all you'd have to do to modify this to actually use it on your own. So that's really all there is to it. That's the hardware. That's the software. This is a fully self-contained system. You don't need to run software on another computer on the network. You don't have to have a cloud. We're logging locally onto the IoT Edge computer monitoring the air quality sensor. We have automation running on the IoT Edge computer that's actually monitoring that and turning the relay on and off. So this is a completely self-contained automation and logging system. It's really easy to implement. Anyone can do it. So if you have any questions on this, please feel free to contact us. Um, I'm also going to have links for the Node Red Flow that I'm using available so you can download it. And we'll be happy to answer any questions you have on that or the hardware. So next, we're actually going to go out in the field and install this stuff, and we're going to see it in action. So stay tuned. Now, on-site installation is going to be pretty simple, given that the devices already have magnetic feet to mount them to the metal walls, and we already pre-configured everything. So here we've got the IoT Edge computer going on the wall. We'll connect power to it. Then we'll plug the included power supply into a 120 volt outlet. Next, we can look at the lights on the gateway to indicate that it is functioning as expected. Now we'll move on to the sensor. For the sensor, we'll need to open the lid and switch the power switch inside of it to the on position. These ship in the off position to prevent the batteries from dying during shipping. Lastly, we'll just install all four screws back into the lid of the sensor before we mount it. Now that we've got the sensor turned on, it's as simple as sticking it to the wall. Now we'll mount our custom sign to the wall, which we uh, custom made ourselves. We have the relay controller affixed to the back of the sign and we put some magnetic feet on it, and we'll just plug it in. So here we'll give you kind of a sweep overview of the installation. You'll see we've got the IoT Edge computer there, followed by our custom-made sign. This is our solder room where all the boards are soldered. Back there in the back corner, that's the sensor. 
That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.